okay okay so let us start your snapping tube okay so first of all just tell me how do you define the viscosity of the fluid uh, sir viscosity of the fluid is a property of a fluid uh, uh, in which uh, we measure uh, the uh, resistance force uh, between the uh, different layers of fluid uh, uh, which are uh, uh, which are flowing parallel to each other sir which are flowing parallel to each other okay and what is uh, okay okay what is the physical significance of the kinematic viscosity what does it physically signifies the kinematic uh, viscosity physically signifies the uh, it is basically dynamic viscosity by uh, uh, density so, so it is a, a kind of a, a viscous force uh, per, per unit uh, per unit uh, de density of uh, uh, well, that density is the of, formula that is the mathematical formula i just want to know what does it physically signifies physically signifies hmm. sir uh, sir it physically signifies uh, uh, like a uh, momentum diffusivity sir actually momentum sir. diffusion rate okay okay uh, yes, tell me the type of fluids you uh, we should know types of fluid yes Sir, uh, on the base uh, basis of uh, viscosity, if I talk, uh, uh, so there are uh, sir uh, uh, liquids like uh, uh, dilatant, pseudo plastic, and ideal fluid, uh, which is in which uh, if we consider the Newton's uh, law, it's follow uh, Newton's law of uh, viscosity, basically I ideal fluid. Sir. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Yes. Sir. Okay, just draw a graph between this. Just draw a graph between the shear stress and time, okay, and show me yes, all sir. the type of fluid which you know. Yes, sir. Graph between shear stress and time, not the shear stress and velocity gradient. Okay, just remember that. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, what is this pseudo plastic and idle fuel? Are you sure it is a correct one? Yes, sir. It's, it is not correct, it is wrong. Okay, just wait sir. a minute. What I, what I have drawn here, just show, just show me again. This idle fluid is the pseudo plastic. So, in this pseudo plastic, is okay, the shear stress is varying with time in the case of pseudo plastic and thixotropic. Uh, so in case of yes, according to your graph, the pseudo the pseudo plastic fluid has a varying stress with respect to time. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, it is uh, wrong. It is not correct. Okay, so just just define me. What is cavitation phenomena? Uh, cavitation, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, the cavitation is basically when the when the Pressure pressure of fluid reaches the vapor pressure, then uh, there is a phenomenon of a cavitation in which uh, uh, fluid uh, gets converted into vapor form and uh, it uh, corrodes uh, metal or it corrodes uh, a certain uh, kind of. Uh, no, that is uh, not correct definition. That is not yes. correct. That is, that is not a correct way of defining the cavitation. Where do you find the cavitation problem? In which hydraulic devices? Uh, sir, uh, centrifugal pump uh, we find, uh, uh, and mm -hmm. in siphon also, sir, uh, we found a uh, few. We find uh, uh, okay. so a. How do you uh, so? How do you make sure that the cavitation doesn't happen in these devices? But uh, uh, sir, what method do you opt here? Sir, uh, uh, we basically uh, measure the uh, pressure at uh, the point, uh, like uh, in the crown of. Uh, we measure uh, pressure at the crown of uh, siphon. And we measure uh, uh, pressure at uh, uh, where uh, in centrifugal pump uh, in uh, where it will be least uh, least. Uh, so we measure it, uh, whether it is uh, above the vapor pressure or not, uh, and then we find uh, that uh, whether uh, cavitation will occur or not. Sir. Okay. So, what do you do in centrifugal pump? Sorry, what? Centrifugal pump, how do you control 
uh, in centrifugal pump uh, how we control uh, cavitation sir yes how do we control the cavitation in centrifugal pumps uh, in centrifugal pump so uh, actually we have to uh, reduce the pre uh, re not reduce actually we have to uh, we have to not allow the pressure to reduce uh, uh, less than uh, uh, cavitation pressure uh, so we have to uh, apply some kind of uh, device uh, i have, i don't have an idea about that uh, what uh, but we have to reduce the pressure sir uh, okay. not reduce uh, we have to increase the pressure sir okay what is the difference between the rotational flow and the vortex flow uh, rotational flow and vortex flow sir uh, Sir, uh, hmm. vortex flow can be a forced vortex flow or a free vortex flow, but while a rotational flow is uh, defined by uh, it is a uh, uh, it can be uh, like a vortex flow is subset of a rotational flow, and a rotational flow is a general term. And the vortex flow can be so free vortex flow. Of, and... What is the meaning of vortex flow? Vortex flow. What is the meaning of vortex flow? Yes. Uh, sir, uh, in vortex flow, either a uh, fluid flow uh, from the center to uh, periphery uh, radially or uh, uh, periphery uh, or uh, it uh, flows from periphery to uh, center. Uh, uh, this kind of motion uh, uh, occurs in uh, fluid uh, radially, sir. Okay. What is Mach number? So Mach number is uh, basically uh, uh, ratio of uh, ratio of uh, velocity uh, uh, velocity of object or uh, uh, object or uh, velocity of object with respect to uh, velocity of uh, sound uh, in that medium, sir. Okay. Which type of forces do we compare in the uh, Mach number? Uh, sir, we uh, compare inertia forces and uh, uh, elastic forces, sir. And how do we calculate the elastic forces? Uh, sir, elastic forces, uh, we calculate uh, with the help of uh, bulk modulus, sir. What is bulk modulus? Uh, bulk modulus is... Uh, <coughs> hmm. It is a ratio of uh, change in uh, stress uh, with uh, respect to... Uh, change in total st stress with respect to ch uh, uh, change in uh, volumetric uh, volumetric uh, strain, sir. Okay. What is the value of the bulk modulus for water and air? Uh, value of bulk modulus for water and air, sir. Hmm. Sir, I don't have idea about uh, exact this value, but uh, hmm. what, sir? Yes, just continue. What are you saying? Uh, sir, I don't have idea about the exact value of uh, bulk modulus of air and water, sir. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, for, I think uh, for uh, water, uh, it is uh, 10 power uh, uh, 5. Uh, okay, let us uh, let just, uh, just write the value of the bulk modulus. The bulk modulus, of, bulk modulus for water is 200, uh, 2000 megapascal. 2000 megapascal. And for air, it is 0 0.1 megapascal. Uh, for air, it is uh, 0 0.1 1 megapascal. Okay. Now, just yeah, by looking yes, this yes. Value, these two values, okay, just compare the uh, compare the compressible nature of the air as well as the water. Just by looking these values. Yes, sir. Uh, actually, the compressibility is uh, inversely proportional to bulk modulus. So, uh, we can conclude that uh, air is uh, more compressible than uh, water, sir. By how many times? By um, By nearly uh, 20,000 times, sir. By nearly 20,000 times, that is okay. Okay, why do the major losses, uh, okay, why do the major losses and minor losses occur in pipe? Uh, are separate in pipe, sir. 
yes why do this losses occurs in pipe uh, this uh, this uh, so like major losses uh, generally occurs uh, due to uh, contraction of uh, pipe or uh, uh, or it occurs due to uh, uh, like uh, if uh, our uh, pipe uh, section of pipe uh, uh, Area of our section of pipe can, uh, increases uh, 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 increases or it uh, decreases, then uh, major losses occur. Or in case, uh, minor losses occurs uh, when there is uh, uh, some uh, like uh, our uh, the flow is uh, flowing through the fillet uh, fillet uh, or uh, rounded corners, then uh, minor losses occur. So. Okay, just repeat the major losses part. Why do the major losses occur? Due to a sudden contraction or sudden expansion of the uh, cross, cross section area of. Uh... Okay, that is okay. Okay, go page. Let me provide, provide my feedback. See, <coughs> see, first of all, you are going for ISR, but your concepts related to the fluid mechanics are not so much clear. Okay, uh, okay. from the starting of the uh snap interview okay regarding the questions of viscosity and the last question related to the pipes also which are given is not correct it is incorrect here okay let me tell you then i have told you that what is the graph between the shear stress and time in that case first of all just understand how uh, on which parameter the viscosity depends upon okay so first of all you have to understand that the viscosity depends upon the velocity rate and time and temperature so specifically uh, the shear, the viscosity is varying with time only for the thixotropic and refractive and for other fluids it is not varying with the time Okay, so whenever you are plotting the graph between the shear stress and time, in that case, only the variation, uh, only variation will be of the thixotropic and the refractive fluid is there. Okay, for the Newtonian and dilated and the pseudoplastic fluid, there will be no variation. Okay, that you have to understand. Yes, sir. Now just see, whenever when I have asked you regarding the what is the what is the meaning of cavitation? See, first of all, the cavitation is a phenomena when the fluid flows through the variable pressure region. Actually, what happens when the fluid flows through the low pressure region and when the value of the uh, pressure of the liquid falls below the vapor pressure. It suddenly starts boils boiling. Okay. And once the boiling starts, the bubble formation will take place. And now what happens? This formation of bubble, the bubbles which are forming here, they are continuously flowing with the liquid. And when the bubbles reaches the high pressure region, in that case, the bursting of the bubble takes place. Okay. And due to the bursting, high pressure will generate in the system, which can damage the entire system. Okay. There will there can be mechanical damage in the system here. So this entire phenomena that is from the beginning of the boiling phenomena to the bursting of the bubble this entire phenomena is known as the cavitation and it can occur take place in the siphon turbines and the pumps so basically the centrifugal pumps and passage is provided to make sure that the cavitation doesn't happen okay so the nps topic is very very important <coughs> you can't skip that particular topic so just revise that just study what is the meaning of npsh and how do we make sure that the uh, available NPSH is more than the required NPSH to avoid the cavitation. That is very, very important. Okay. And when I have told you that what is the difference between the vortex flow and the rotational flow. So see, the vortex flow simply means the rotating mass of the fluid. So whenever the fluid is rotating, that means it is the vortex flow. Okay. Now, what is the meaning of rotational flow? When the fluid particle is rotating about its own center of gravity. Okay. That means the fluid is rotational in nature. Whenever the fluid is not rotating about its own axis, it is known as a irrotational flow. Okay, and when I've asked you that, what is that? Why do the major losses and the minor losses occur in the pipe? So, first of all, just see the minor losses are occurring due to the disturbing disturbance in the streamlines, which can take place due to the sudden contraction, sudden expansion, uh, bends in the tubes, okay, or any dis any type of disturbance is present in the pipe. There will always be a minor losses, okay. And the major losses occur due to the frictional contact between the fluid and the pipe surface. So no matter uh, how many, uh, how large the pipe is, there is always a frictional contact between the liquid and the pipe surface. Okay, so there will yes, always sir. be a major losses in the pipe. Okay, yes, so just uh, revise all of these things very carefully. Okay, for your final yes, interview. Okay, anything else you want to ask for me? Uh, sir, uh, I want to ask, uh, like, sir. Uh... There was a Behangam plastic, sir. Uh, so its graph would be uh, uh, parallel to the uh, x-axis line, I think, sir. See, in case of Behangam plastic, you don't have to show the variation. It is considered in the common case. Okay, okay because sir. the time period that uh, the shear stress is varying with time only for the isotropic and the refractive only. 
Okay, so whenever you are plotting, you just have to show the pixotropic. The Bingham plastic will be in the common common fields, which will be horizontal line that which which is showing that the variation is not uh that the shear stresses are not varying with the time. And the last one is the geopactic. Okay. Anything else?